Hello, everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77, and we are back on Sky Factory 1, where uh, you can see there's been some changes to the platform base. I took a little time off camera to make these little structures. I thought these are really, really cool. Just kind of neat looking. It's very easy to make. It was just some dark oak and some cobblestone, but it, it gives it a little bit more depth to the uh, the, the platform. And I'm thinking I'm going to do that between every episode, try to add more so that I have some time and try to add more uh, creative looking style of the builds um, so that I can play around with it so I'm not doing it on camera. But anyway, um, so I've done a couple things over here. Uh, I didn't put the, 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 the fences up here because I realized I needed the dark oak. But that we might move this or, you know, put this back and move it over there or something. I don't know. But um, what I also did off camera is I reconfigured this area. So I have witch water down here. But then I put the regular water up above it. And so it this up here will make clay. This can make the slime and uh, the soul sand. So I threw that output into a drawer controller. And I've got some drawers here. But I also on this side, I put another cobblestone generator here feeding into a storage drawer. And, and that is being uh, taken out into, through the back here, I can show you kind of around the back here. We got some, oops, don't fall. We got some uh, pipes, item pipes going into the, the crucibles and they take it into the lava and the lava feeds down into here and we can make the end stone by adding a uh, glowstone dust. So that's kind of what I've done uh, so far. But today, I think guys, I think for today, we're going to work at trying to get refined storage because I mean, I've got chest here, chest there, chest there stuff over there and over there and you know i'd like to get this more centralized uh and digital storage refined storage i think is the way to go so uh one of the first things i need to do though is i've got a lot of materials here that i've been building up these ore chunks and they need to be um put down into the dust and then made into ingots and this thing isn't working for me it's just too darn slow so i think the first part of this episode, we're just going to make a little quick system that will pulverize the stuff down. I don't mind using the furnaces so much, but I definitely want to have a way of getting this to work. Now, this right here is powering just enough to power these. I don't want to overtax this. So we're going to make another uh, one of these magmatic dynamos that'll come off, feed off of this pipe right here. And maybe we'll bring the energy out and we'll have like a pulverizer station over here. Maybe even a, some sort of furnace based off of redstone power. So let's start that right now. We're going to make the uh, magmatic dynamo. So I think I have one up here. There we go. And we need to get this these parts here. Obviously, we're going to need some invar, some iron, some redstone. So let's get some of that stuff out of here. We have some iron, iron ingots, uh, invar. Uh, we needed gold, probably. We need some redstone. Fortunately, I have a lot of redstone over here since I've been grinding this out. So let's grab some of that. And we should be able to fairly quickly uh, make this magmatic dynamo. Let's make one of those tools there, whatever that is. Make an invar gear. That was easy. And there we have a magmatic dynamo. Just like that, guys. Very easy. And I'm going to put that on right there. And you can see it's already generating power and storing that up. And that's excellent. And I think we want to uh, bring a redstone line out here. And maybe we'll put, like, a couple of them or three of them. I think I have some spare here. Let's look for it. We have four energy cables. So that'll work. So we'll put one here, here, and here. I may not use all of that, but that's fine. Um, and then let's uh, start to work on what we want here for this system. We're going to use chests. So let's put a couple chests on each side. I'm going to have this be an input, and I'm going to make this an output. Now, remember, I have fire tick off, so nothing will burn here. That's fine. Um, do I need to have an item conduit? Probably, but we'll figure this out. So we want to have... Um, trying to think here. Well, okay, well, we should make a pulverizer, probably. So let's work on that. Copper gears, another redstone flux. We can make that. Copper gears. We have some copper. We don't have enough copper, so I'm going to have to take the copper chunks and grind that down. Okay. Uh, this is going to take me a little bit of time. So let me grind down maybe a couple of pieces so that I can get this, and we'll continue on. Yeah, that's a pain. I'm so glad we're working on this now. We're going to make the pulverizer again. We need some copper gears. Do I have enough? Oh, I don't even have enough for that. Are you kidding? See? This is a pain. This is such a pain. Grab some more, put it over here, and we wait again. Okay, let's try this again. We're making the pulverizer. So we're trying to make the copper gears, and I think I already have one. There is the second one. Okay, that makes it easy. Machine frames, we need a tin gear, which I have that on me. There we go, and we need some glass. Do I have any glass? I should have some glass made. I do have some glass. There it is. 
and uh, I need flint. There's some flint. Okay. Almost got everything out of here. Oh, I need a piston. Really? I need some wood and some cobble, huh? Okay, so there's some cobble and there's some wood and we have the redstone on us. Right. I'm getting there, guys. It just takes a little bit to get all the parts. And there it is, the pulverizer. Now I'm going to go back up here. And my thought process is, is that this right here will take in power. It will take input. It will put it into an output chest right here. Okay. So if I say on here, we're going to go from the, I guess this is the left side, auto input. And the right side is auto output. Okay. And so uh, let's grab some things that we might need here. Let's grab some of the, uh, let's grab half a stack of that. And let's grab some iron. Iron and gold usually is pretty useful here starting out. So let's do that. Good, and it's automatically working, and it should, should come out here and go into this spot right here. Now, let's see if we can do a redstone furnace. Now, I haven't looked into what this might take, so let's do a furnace here, and um, probably the redstone furnace, this right here. It looks like more copper gears. We can do more copper, so actually we should uh, get some copper here, like, done, right? Let's just, let's, let's just uh, commandeer it here. There we go. Make us some copper things. And what else do we need? Let's uh, grab it again and bookmark that. Okay, we need some brick, which I can do that pretty easy. We need the redstone flux coil. So we can do some of this right now. Redstone flux coil, there's that. What else do we need? We need a redstone, we need another machine frame. We have enough for tin gear, we don't. So we need to get some tin. And uh, where's some more tin? There's some tin right there. So you can see we're gonna be using this system a lot. And this grinder here, this pulverizer, is really gonna be useful uh, for us. Let me circumvent that now because <laughs> we got some copper here we know we need it actually i needed more copper than that i think oh no we have three two on us with the six here that'll give us eight excellent so i'm gonna get the more of the pieces and get ready to make the uh, redstone furnace here in just a second should i have enough for the redstone furnace and there it is and we're gonna run it over here now i have a question on this whether this will do what i think it does because we do have the dusts here, the tin dust and the gold dust. We're also getting some appetite and some gravel and some other byproducts. And I don't know if it will bring these in or attempt to bring these in, but we're going to see. So you can see it's getting power here. That's fine. On this side, we're going to do auto input. And you can see it's doing gold first. And then on the other side, we're again, we're going to do auto output. Okay, so it should take those and have our ingots. So this system should work for any of those chunks. I would like to see here, though, if it's going to bring in, like, the gravel... Because that is the next item here, and it may bring it in. I don't know. It should not, I hope. So it did not, so hopefully this will work. Uh, so we have a system here that I can just throw in the chunks. It should then process this all the way through. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to go grab those right now and process them and get us set for doing the uh, refined storage. Well, we're back, and it uh, looks like this has finished processing everything that was in here. Gone on through. We do have some of this appetite. We have cinnabar and some gravel. And then over here, we have all of these ores, and this is fantastic because we're going to be using this, uh, I think, pretty soon. Also over here, I have been making uh, a silicon because you just put in... Wow, that was a lot of stuff. You put in um, nether quartz in here, and we get uh, silicon, so that's excellent. Now I'm going to get some more of this quartz, and that's why I've been getting quartz the last few episodes... Because I want to make some quartz enriched iron, and it takes uh, quartz to do that. So I'm going to make a few stacks here. I believe all I need is that, and I think it's just uh, like that. Is it not that? Oh, man, hopefully it's not. Oh, did I get it all wrong, or did I get it backwards? we got to get quartz enriched iron. Let me see if I can find it here. Quartz enriched iron. Oh, it's the other way around. That's okay. There we go. Got a bunch there. Do I have any more? I got some more iron. Yes, we got to get some more. I thought it was the other way around. I was backwards. That's okay. I want to have a lot of this because we're going to start to make uh, the refined storage system um, right now. Okay. So there are some things that we need here uh, for refined storage. Uh, let's look that up here at refined. So we're going to be making, first of all, a controller. This is the main core of the unit. And you can see here, it just takes some quartz enriched iron, some silicon. We need a machine casing and this advanced processor. We just need one of these. We're going to make the drive. This is a disk drive. Again, quartz enriched iron or chest, another machine casing. That's easy to do. And another advanced processor. So that's two advanced processors that we need to make so far. We're going to make a crafting grid. If you look, it takes right here an advanced processor. So that's three of those, three advanced processors. And the grid itself takes two improved, which are based off of gold. 
and a construction core and destruction core, which are based off of the iron uh, processor, okay? Based processor. We don't need a lot of stuff. And then we're going to work through making up the, um, whatchamacallit, the 4K or 1K, 4K, 16K, and 64K pieces, okay? So let's um, let's start this out here. I think um, i trying to figure out which way I want to do this. I'm going to try to do a stack, and I want the power to be on top with the controller. So I think I might do the controller last. So let's see about this. I know we got to make some uh, machine frames, right? So the grid, does it take one? Yes, machine casing. Let's make a bunch of those. We need three pieces of actual stone. And I have some stone here, so let's do that. We need three machine casings, so uh, let's do that. Two, three. There's our three machine casings, just that quick. And I should get all this out of here. Okay, so let's make, I think the bottom level I'm going to make it will be the drive. And so for the drive, we'll need a chest. We can get that. We need these advanced processors. Now, how do we get processors? So the, they are just cooked up in some sort of smelting or redstone furnace or whatever. Uh, the advanced processors, which are based off of diamond, redstone, silicon and processor binding processor binding is just look at slime and string so if we have any string here we do and i know where we have some slime right over here let's uh get a few pieces here and we just convert that over and there we go and we should have uh that should be enough for now right i think so so we'll take the string here split it in half put it over here and we have that is a lot of processor bindings oops wanted to do that that was a mistake uh, a lot of processor bindings, actually. Um, let's try to put some of this away that I don't need to hold on to at the moment. Okay, so we're going to make... I know we said we needed, like, three of these advanced processors, so we need to get some diamonds. They're over here. We have 24 diamonds. That'll work. So let's make uh, three of those right now. Actually, let's make... I'm trying to think of how many I might need. I need to think I need about seven of these uh, for what I'm trying to be planning on here. So can we not just put it in there? There we are. We have seven, and I'm going to uh, cook that up. You know what? I'm going to put it over here in the redstone furnace. Should work fine. There it goes. Okay, so we got those. And this should be cooking up now. I know we're going to need... I've counted this up. I think we're going to need 12 of the gold ones, so let's go get some gold. I know we're going to be a bunch of the iron, because I'm going to get all this ready to go for the... Uh, whatchamacallit? The uh, 1K, 4K, and the storage parts. So let's see. We got all of that. And let's see, we, I said we needed 12 of these, I think. Okay, and I think for the iron we needed, what did it say? I got to do 36 of these. Okay, and we're going to run out of space here really quick. Uh, what am I going to hold on to or not hold on to, I should say? Um, hmm. I don't need the glowstone dust. From, I do need it in a minute. Uh, we're done with diamonds, right? Okay, there we go. Um, let's see, we need to get some more redstone. What else do we need to make? Got to where is the iron one? There we go. And how many do we have of this so far? We have five. We need a total of 36. So there we have 36. Okay, so we just got to get these cooked down. And I'm going to put these into here. They should automatically be picked up. And there it is. So these are already done. We have the advanced processor. So we should be good to go to make uh, most of the system now. So let's do that. Let's make, first of all, the drive bay. This is the disk drive. We have a chest on us. We have the machine casing. We have all of that, so here we go. And there is the drive bay. We next we want to have above that. I want to have a crafting grid. Okay. And that's uh Yeah. We need another advanced processor. A crafting table. So I'm gonna have to get rid of something here. Probably don't need all the ports on me at the moment. Let's put this away here. There we go. So we're gonna make a crafting grid. Or a crafting table. Where's all my wood? There it is. Shouldn't take too long here. And hopefully that system has processed up the uh, iron ones we're going to need here. It's almost done with the gold. Okay, so we're going to need to get some gold and we also need to get the iron. Wow, this is kind of fun. Okay, I, need, I think I need two of these for the crafting grid because we're going to make a construction core and a destruction core. So we'll grab those 12 there and we should have two of the basic processors. And there they are. Okay. Run back over to the table, and we are going to make, first of all, we're going to make a regular old grid. We need a construction core, which takes the basic processor. This is the one that's based off of iron and a glowstone dust. We have that. We also need to make the destruction core, which is, again, the same. The iron processor, basic processor, and another quartz. And we have that. And with that, we can make 
a grid. And then to make it a crafting grid, it just takes the advanced processor, which we have on us, a grid and a crafting table. And there we are, we have the grid. Okay, so we have two pieces of our puzzle right there. I'm gonna put these kind of together. We have our disk drive, we have our crafting grid. The next thing I wanna make is the controller. And the controller's right here and you can see it takes basically everything we have on us already. And that's it, we've got the basic system uh, for the refined storage. Now, we have to provide power to it and we need to make up the, um, the disk drives, okay? So I'm gonna look up a power solution here and I'll be right back. So I've been looking at the generators that are listed here and based on what I've seen, some of these have different rates and I think this might be one of the easiest ones to build for the amount of power that it generates. Um, it's just basically a combustion generator. I know we could make some stuff from lava, but I don't really have want to make up this whole mechanism just to have uh, the, this system working. So, and if you look here, it just takes some coal, it takes some mason stone, and that's going to be the hardest thing. Some pistons, some redstone torches. It's pretty darn easy to make. So let's start working on that. I know we need gravel and cobble for this process. I'm going to take the gravel that's out of there. That's pretty easy. And I'm going to take a stack of cobble. And with that, I believe we can make the mason stone. There's mason cobble. Now, it did say mason stone, which is just uh, four of those put together. So if we do like that, we get that and put them together like that. So we have enough there for doing all sorts of stuff with cyclic, okay? We need to make blocks of coal. So we have to get four of those. There we go. And that's uh, just about it. We just need some redstone torches, which means we need some sticks. And I've got some sticks here. I do not have any um, redstone on me. I'm gonna put this uh, bindings away for a minute. Uh, we have redstone over here. There we go. See what I mean? I'm running all around to grab this stuff and soon, soon we won't have to. And that'll be excellent. Okay, so we make some redstone torches. There we go. And I need some wood and some more cobble uh, for me to be able to make the pistons. And I need some more space. This is this is this is crazy. Yeah. Um, cobble. Okay. And we need to make the pistons for this. That's not the right generator. There we go. That one needed bread. I just get rid of redstone. Okay, well, there. Okay, here we go. Two pistons. And then from that, we should be able to make the generator. And that is the whole stack, I think. I'll make that back into coal. And so I'm thinking about putting this um, system over here because, or similar to closer to here, because of the fact that we have all of this generated over here and all of this over here. So let me do this. I'm not sure where I want to put it. I was thinking of putting it, I bet you can't put it like an angle. That would be really cool. So let's uh, let's start to get this ready. I'm trying to get it in order here. So we want, definitely want to have the disk drive here. We want to have the crafting grid. There we go. I want to have the controller here on top of it. And then we need to have this generator thing on top of this whole stack. And I think I'm just going to pillar up right here. Put that on top. Okay. And that's the basic system. And we'll put some coal in here. It should generate power uh, pretty easy. Now, I this thing, can you can turn this on so it's either exporting power or not. Okay, and so it is. The system is gaining power, and that's excellent. What we're going to do here is we're going to use a, a lever to turn this on or off so we don't have to, like, actually, when we're not using it, we won't have to. So we're going to say only work with a redstone signal. So there we go. And we can turn on the system. And that way, this thing should... Keep its power level. Um, so you can see it's slowly gaining power. It's like a battery here. So if I turn this off, this should still be generating power into here and it's not being pulled into the system here. So basically, it's in essence, it's just a shutting off the power usage. And that's excellent. So when that goes on, this whole system will be working. Now we have to make the uh, storage disks, okay? Now I'm gonna try to go right for the, the big storage disk, the 64K one. So really, if you think about how it is, and I'm going to try to go through this. Um, if you look at these disks here, let's see here. Where's the big one? 64K. Each one of these takes three 16s. That's three of those. Each 16 takes three 4Ks. So that means you need nine 4Ks, and then you take three of those. So it takes 27 1Ks, okay? So do we have enough processors? Probably not. Oh, I thought I needed a lot more than that. 
I don't know. We're going to see if we can do this, okay? So the first one I want to get is I want to get this right here, and I can only make 12 1K storage parts. What am I missing? Am I missing glass? I am cooking up glass. Look at that. Let's do this again. 1Ks. I need a total of 36, right? So we have 34. We have 31. Okay, why am I... Oh, it doesn't... Okay, we need... what? How much have we said we need more? more? We need 36. It's five more. And what are we missing again? Um, more redstone. Okay. Thought maybe I was missing like, some processors, but that's right. This first level doesn't even use the processors. So... Okay. So we have the 1K part. We need a total of 36. I think it said yes. Come on. Here we go. We have 32, 3, 4, 5. Really? Now what I'm missing? More glass. Okay, so the glass is going to be our bottleneck right now. That's okay. And 34, 35, 36. There we have 36 of those. Okay, that's fine. We'll grab all these parts. So that's the 1K parts. Now we need to make the 4K. So we're going to use do that. And the 4K takes those those uh, basic processors, the 4K parts, the iron and the redstone. And we have eight of those. I thought we would have needed nine. Why is there one missing? Oh, we need more parts. We need two more of the processors for iron, right? Okay, so we can do that. Real quick here, put those there. There they are. We'll go cook those up in the uh, redstone furnace. Okay, so they should be right there. There they are. And hopefully that should give us exactly what we need. So we have nine of those, right? What am I doing here? Did I just do the wrong thing? Wait a second. I'm lost. There we go. There we have nine of those. Why did I make so many of these then? Did I, did, can I not count? Oh, I only need 27. That is a major derp, guys. Major derp. Yep. Okay, so there we go. Let's go get the 16Ks. I should only need to uh, get three of those. And again, what am I missing? Am I missing more gold parts? Am I not mathing right? I'm not even mathing right. Unbelievable. So we'll do two of those. And we'll pick that over to the refined... Or the redstone furnace, yeah. Can't talk. I haven't trouble talking today. Have you noticed that? So this should be finishing up really quick. And there we go. Over here. More processors. We need one more 16K processor or storage part. There we go. And then we should be able to make the 64K one. And there we go. We have one 64K storage part. So now all I have to do is just make that into a disc, okay? Which takes more glass, high glass, and there it is, a 64K disc. I'm gonna take it over here, put it in the system, and now guys, if I turn this on, this is all working, and I should be able to just start putting stuff in here like that. And there we go, and you can see it's barely using anything of the disc uh, space. So now I can take all of these chests that are here and get this all into here, at least that way I can access it all uh, fairly easily. I'm going to do that right now. And there we have it, guys. Except for the stuff that's over here, I've cleaned out all the chests there. Those chests are now empty. These storage drawers are actually empty, too. So there's nothing out here at all except for what's being produced here. Um, and it's all inside of this system right here. So I can now use a crafting grid. I am so happy. And then when I don't want to use this, I just go like that. And you can see this has got power. Now, does this shut off when it gets full? I don't know. We should, we'll see that in just a couple minutes here. Um, but this system is working fantastic. So now um, I can really like get to work at making things and doing things that I really want to do with this uh, pack. I can go around and I'd have to worry about where I'm keeping things and trying to search for things and getting myself slowed down. That's going to be excellent. I think so. What do you guys think? All right, guys, that is all I've got time for today. I sure hope you like this video. We'll have another video coming out later this week. So, hey, join us then and uh, we'll see where we go from here. If you like this video, please click that like button. If you have any comments, put them down in the comment section. And if you'd like to be notified of the videos that I produce, please subscribe to this channel. And don't forget to hit that little bell icon so you get all the notifications, okay? Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.